Hello everyone, it's Finnovation. Today, the obvious question is... The obvious question is, how do you build the best rockets? I'm glad you asked. Okay, these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need some masking tape. We just have it on a roller. Some scissors. Some electrical tape. A vanilla folder. And a pool noodle or a insulator. The first thing you want to do is cut your vanilla folder in half. Okay, so once you've got your vanilla folder cut in half, make sure you do not throw away either side. You're going to need both sides later. So the first thing you want to do with your one side is you want to start rolling it up. This is sometimes difficult to do with one person since vanilla folders are a little stiff. You could also use some cardstock paper, but we used vanilla folders since we had them. Because vanilla folders are made out of cardstock. So you just want to roll them up. Okay, so once you have it all rolled up, we already put on a piece of tape. But basically, you just want to get a piece of tape that's long enough to go all the way around. Then you just put it here and wrap it all the way around. If it doesn't go all the way around, sometimes it doesn't stick, and that can cause some problems. Make sure you have enough tape to make it secure. Okay. The next thing you're going to want to do is cover up the hole at the top. This is so that when the air goes in, it has something to block it and it goes flying. So you're just going to get a piece of tape, put it right over the hole. You're going to get another piece of tape, put it over the hole, and repeat this until you think that it should be airtight. Once you have your tube rolled up, the next thing you're going to want to do is make some fins. You can choose any type of fins you would like, but I'm just going to do triangles. I've got three very close to equal fins. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my paper scraps away. And I'm going to tape them on. Blam! Okay, so we've got all of the fins attached. Now you're going to want to choose something to put on the top. You can choose putting a, a pointed cone or a round one. This is what a round one will look like, and this is what a pointed one will look like. The pointed ones, they're heavier because you have a lot more masking tape on them, but they are more aerodynamic. The rounded ones, they're lighter, but they're less aerodynamic. So you have to choose which one do you want. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is put a top on. How we do this is you get your scissors and you take the pool noodle and you cut right here. If you want to have the curved top, you can cut a little shorter. And if you don't want the curved top, if you want the pointed top, you go a little lower so that you can wrap tape around and make it into a cone. For this one, I think I'm gonna make it into a cone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it about right here. Okay, so now the stuff we have already has a little thing in it, so you can do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some electrical tape, and you're going to put the electrical tape around the bottom. So, you're going to wrap it like this and put that like that. So then you're going to wrap the electrical tape like that later. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some right here. And then, I'm just going to wrap it all the way around. Okay, so once you have that done, you're going to want to start wrapping some electrical tape 
so that it makes a point and it squeezes it into that point. But before we do that, you want to take your scissors and cut it into a point. So that now, when we have our point, it's going to be a more pointy shape than before. So I'm just going to cut some more little pieces, make sure we get a good point shape. And you just take your tape and start wrapping around. Keep wrapping. <gasps> I think fell off. That's not a problem. You can just put it back on. Okay, I just popped it back on. I just had to cut the tape and reseal it. That wasn't a problem though. That could happen to you. Then you're just going to want to keep on wrapping that tape all the way around. I've got a nice pointy shape. Now, all I've got to do is add my fuselage. Okay, now it's time to put on the fuselage. I'm doing this for a class project, and we, we are required to put on like a piece of noodle around the body of your rocket. If you're doing this at home, I wouldn't recommend doing this because it slows it down. Or I guess it could make it go faster because it would have more momentum to go into the energy. So, I'm going to put my fuselage on. And I'm going to make it about this big. Depends on, you could make it smaller or bigger. It doesn't really matter, I guess. So, I'm going to rip it apart. And then we're going to put it on. Most of the time your fuselage will be too big. So what you've got to do is you've got to take your scissors and cut it a little bit like that. So then it's a little bit tighter. And even still, I'm going to cut it again to make sure that it's tight. So you're going to wrap it around your rocket and then tape it on. I'm just going to use electrical tape for this to make it even tighter. So, I'm just going to put it on like that and wrap it around as tight as you can. And then you can slide it to where we think your center of mass is. So, if I put my finger in the middle of my fuselage, this side falls, so I'm going to slip it over right here. Now that side falls, slip it over a little bit, and then right there that's about the center of mass, so that's about where you want your fuselage. Okay, that sums up this video for building the rockets. Make sure you watch my next video. Rockets? That reminds me of a joke, Finn. Oh then. no. What, what did the astronaut say when he crashed his rocket into the moon? I don't know what. I apologize. I don't get it. But anyway, watch our next video, which is going to be testing all of our rockets. And then make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought.